We do start with news of yet another provocation by North Korea. Late Tuesday night, the regime fired hundreds of artillery shells into maritime buffer zones separating the two Koreas. Condemning the move, the South Korean military called it a clear violation of their 2018 military agreement. Our Shin Sebyok starts us off. North Korea fired artillery rounds that landed near the sea border between the two Koreas late on Tuesday. According to the South Joint Chief of Staff on Wednesday, Pyongyang fired some 100 shells into the West Sea from around 10 p.m. Tuesday. Another 150 rounds were fired into the East Sea an hour later. This move comes amid recent increased military action by the regime and only four days after their provocation last Friday. The JCS explained that the shells did not land in South Korea's territorial waters, but rather in maritime buffer zones. Those boundaries have been set up to ease military tension along the two Korea's border areas. So strongly urged Pyongyang to halt any threatening provocations, saying such activities clearly violate a military agreement signed in 2018 between the two Koreas in an effort to build trust between the neighbors and put a stop to hostile military activity. Such North Korean provocation not only is a clear violation of the September 19 military agreement, but also undermines the peace and stability of the Korean peninsula as well as the international community. Meanwhile, Seoul said it is closely monitoring the North in coordination with the United States. North Korea's latest military action came just a day after South Korean troops began their annual 12-day Hogok exercise on Monday which has an unspecified number of U.S. troops taking part this year. Since late last month, North Korea has conducted an array of short- and long-range missile and artillery launches. Pundits say this can be largely seen as an attempt by the regime to expand its weapons arsenal and gain leverage in future negotiations with its rivals. Shin Sebyok, Arirang News.